What's the truth about dinosaurs? Did they become extinct roughly 65 million years before man evolved, as evolutionists insist? Or did man and dinosaur live side by side, as the Bible says? Well, the answer, we turn both to the Bible and science. First, the Bible. Before the word dinosaur was coined in 1842, the Bible's term for dinosaur was tanin. In Hebrew, the original language of the Old Testament, by far the most common meaning of tanin is dragon. And the Bible clearly implies they coexisted with man. We see that not only in the Genesis account, where we're told man and all animals were created on the sixth day. We see it in the Psalms. David wrote, The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. One dinosaur in particular is mentioned in the Bible. In the book of Job, God describes a great beast with which Job, who lived after the flood, was familiar. It's called Behemoth. Speaking of it, God said to Job, Look at the behemoth which I made along with you and which feeds on grass like an ox. What strength he has in his loins, what power in the muscles of his belly. His tail sways like a cedar. Bible commentators, no doubt influenced by Darwin's theory of evolution, say that behemoth may have been an elephant or a hippopotamus. But elephants and hippos don't have tails like cedars. But the Apatosaurus did. It had a small head, a tiny brain, and a large muscular tail, perhaps to ward off predators. At 70 feet long and weighing 30 tons, Apatosaurus, with its cedar-like tail, easily fits the description of the word behemoth. If Behemoth is a Patasaurus, as is most likely the case, man did indeed share this planet with a dinosaur. So says the Bible. So says unbiased science. As evidenced by numerous ancient petroglyphs of creatures, none of which are alive today, which according to the evolutionists, man never saw. One such petroglyph or rock carving or drawing, may be seen at the Kachina Bridge in the National Bridges National Monument in Utah. If you look closely at the faint petroglyph, you'll see the outline of a dinosaur. It clearly appears to be a drawing of an Apatosaurus dinosaur. It was painted by the Anasazi who are believed to be the ancestors of the Pueblo and Hopi Indians. They dwelled in what is now Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, and Colorado between 200 and 1300 A.D., though many say they go back as far as 1000 B.C. What we know for sure is that the Anasazi petroglyph definitely resembles a Patasaurus. And as you look again, note the drawing of a man in the upper left of the rock face, suggesting, if not proving, that contrary to the theory of evolution, at one time, man and dinosaur did indeed share this planet. For further evidence of the coexistence of man and dinosaur, we go to Rome and to this mosaic. It shows two creatures fighting. Both have long necks suggesting that they may be depictions of the Tanistropius. A Mesopotamian cylinder dated 3300 BC also depicts a dinosaur-like creature quite similar to the Tanistropius, with its long neck and tail. Yet another amazing drawing that predates contemporary man's knowledge of dinosaurs shows an ancient people hunting, butchering, and dancing around a huge creature, one that looks very much like a plesiosaur.
From there, we head south to Arizona's Hasupi Canyon, the home of the 450 members of the Hasupi tribe. There we see an ancient cave drawing of another type of dinosaur. It clearly resembles the Edmontosaurus. From Arizona, we travel to Greece, where we can see an urn depicting a scene from Greek mythology. The urn shows a man apparently fighting a sea creature that looks very much like a Mosasaurus. Going back even further in time, we examine a remarkable jade statue dating back to China's Shang Dynasty, which existed between 1766 and 1122 BC. Remarkably, the statue shows a creature with a scale-like pattern, broad beak, dermal frill, and head crest, strikingly similar to that of the dinosaur, Saurolopus. But these are only a few of tens of thousands of petroglyphs depicting what we call today dinosaurs. So, what's the truth about dinosaurs? Did they become extinct 65 million years before man evolved, as evolutionists insist? Or did they, at one time, coexist with man? The Bible says they did, and so do myriads of ancient artifacts and droids found throughout this world. The question you have to consider now is, what are you going to believe? The evolutionists, most of whom are atheists or agnostics, or the Bible.